Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I know my hair is messed up, but, you know, I haven't gotten a haircut, so... Oh well. Plenty of us have gone through plenty of jobs, okay? I, I can think of quite a few people, including in my own friend group, who have gone through multiple jobs because not every job is treated equally, okay? There's a lot of bad places with a lot of bad treatment towards their employees. I've heard horror stories about Amazon and FedEx and, and McDonald's, of, of, of course, because, well, it's McDonald's. But I am telling you right now, I've worked many places and by far, this was the worst place I had ever worked in my entire entire life now you might be asking yourself well james where was that did you work at dollar tree did you work at walmart was it amazon where i hear all of these horror stories from and no it actually wasn't i actually had a job at a warehouse position slash driver helper position down at standard tv and appliance and it's really bad and trust me it's really bad i'd first off like to say that the process for getting this job was actually extremely difficult so i wanted this position because i have a friend's dad who works there that was part of the reason i wanted to work there is because i could see him i could talk to him my friend was even thinking about applying there soon so i was like okay this is a great opportunity to work somewhere where my friend and their family works that could be a great opportunity and make me feel comfortable a lot easier and a lot quicker at this position so that i can get ready so when school starts up i have an income i have a schedule I have and I I'm not like completely uncomfortable with the whole living situation and so I thought this was gonna be a great opportunity now actually getting the job was extremely annoying first off the position was very simple they wanted people to help people with drivers and the move stuff in the warehouse I could do that I had a warehouse position before and I thought well I'll just fill that position because it seems like a great opportunity for me and I don't mind warehouse positions but boy was I wrong thinking this was going to be easy the process was so incredibly annoying I used indeed to apply for, for to apply for jobs so i applied i even went above and beyond to go to their little website that doesn't really work at all to even submit an application i did it twice and after i submitted it twice i really wanted the job so i even called to ask them if they even received my resume and the first time i called the person that actually hires people there was not there and i had to wait until they were they came back into the office so i left a message for him never responded back with a message at all never responded the second time i called they didn't respond i left a message okay it wasn't until later that they heard my message and they said call back that i called back and they finally answered i finally came in for the interview and the interview was very straightforward went in pr practically got hired on the spot because later you'll figure out why they were hiring people so desperately but you think if you wanted to hire people so badly you wouldn't make them go through all these loopholes to get to you i eventually got the job i had to go through a physical and a background check the background check was fine nothing happened i just had to go through that i had to go piss in a cup which wasn't the most enjoyable experience but the Russian lady that I guess wanted me to do it was very nice about it I guess and then I actually had to do a physical thing where I had to move stuff and I had to actually show that I'm capable enough for the job and it had me you know lifting and moving a bunch of heavy stuff very straightforward very easy didn't have any issues it wasn't until my first day of the job I was super excited now on our first day of the job we had even more stuff to do okay he had us go through like this 1980s like training course on some like buggy iPad and it was really stupid but we had to watch like these videos that came from out of the 80s that were done like years ago the stuff that you would see in like your basic like woods classroom in high school you know it, it wasn't too bad but we had to go through that process extremely boring on top of that we had to do a bunch of paperwork pretty normal you had to do your taxes stuff but it wasn't until we started training that things really start started to become an issue so when we first started training i had a trainer that was actually very great i had two other people who were working with me like i had a, a guy who was a mexican dude who had a brother that worked there and then there was an older white gentleman that was also with me as well we were all there expecting to want to keep this job because we wanted the job and so we were training we training the first two days completely fine with the trainer we had he taught us everything we needed to know we even want to, went on some routes with him to go set up appliances at people's houses and deliver stuff great trainer absolutely amazing definitely deserves a raise it wasn't until we got the second guy to become our trainer that things really turn a turn it, it turned for the worst it the, the basic most basic explanation is that it got worse this guy we'll call him we'll call him uh george okay this guy named george was extremely extremely aggressive he was really rude he was disrespectful and he was not patient that was something that no one in the warehouse appreciated about this guy 
So I was doing training with this guy. I was just putting up with his crap because I didn't care. I was like, as soon as I get done with the training, I don't have to deal with him anymore. And I'm gone. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my own route with my own people. Don't need to worry about him anymore. But that was the issue. Day after day after day, we continued to do the same exact thing over and over for training. It got to the point where we were training for more than two weeks, doing the same thing over and over and over. And he wasn't teaching us anything. One of the other people who was actually a trainer quit because he was taking so long and he was so aggressive i would go to lift up a dishwasher and put it into the in the back of the truck right a normal thing that we had to do in the warehouse he would sit there and he would complain and he would say that's not how you lift it and i said well the other trainee taught me to do it that way and he'd say no 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 no, that's wrong i don't know why he would teach it to you but that's wrong don't do it that way if you're gonna do it right you do it my way and i said okay well then what's the right way and he was like you got to do it this way and so i did it that way but then ironically enough only a day later when I was lifting stuff, I did it the way he was doing it and I was having difficulties because it wasn't really an efficient way to put a freaking dishwasher onto a trolley to begin with. He literally said, just do it the other way. Just do it this way. But you told me I can't do it that way or I'll hurt myself. And he said, I never said that. I would never say that. Yes, you did. You literally did. And me and him had an argument about it. I literally said, you you, you can say you didn't, but you did. You, you did it exactly that way. You told me not to do it that way. I was just like, what is this guy doing? Again, he was so incredibly disrespectful respectful and demeaning and it would be to the point where I would be doing my work and I would do a lot of work and I'd get it done quickly where at the point where once we loaded all the trucks and they went off to deliver there wouldn't be anything to do and so I just kind of sit there wanting to know what I was doing next but surprisingly my trainee who had no idea that I was done with my work or actually did he just didn't say anything and he was across the warehouse clearly looking at me would just sit there and talk to the warehouse workers and completely ignore me and I had no idea what I was supposed to do but he was supposed to be my trainee and he never trains me properly and so it got to the point where he would constantly nag at me at uh, workers and spread rumors about me in the warehouse he would start saying that oh look how lazy he is he's not doing anything blah blah this blah blah this you literally are supposed to be training me and i'm sitting here doing nothing because i have no idea what i'm supposed to do i have not worked at this warehouse for the amounts of years that you have yet he's going around to other people talking crap about me being rude about me being disrespectful completely unprofessional it got to the point where people would give me weird looks because I was the one who was being rumored about. It got so bad that the other last trainee with me quit as well because he didn't like the disrespect from the worker. So it got to the point where I even was the only person left and I was getting bullied by this guy in the warehouse. And literally my friend's dad would come up to me and said, yeah, he's saying this about you. Yeah, don't do this or he's going to talk bad about you. It's like this guy was completely unprofessional and disrespectful towards me. And even when we were on our routes, we would, we would lift all these heavy fridges and all these heavy fridges and machinery and everything like that all these appliances i mean big stuff right and sometimes we'd have to go to the big houses where the rich people live and they like sub-zero fridges and if you don't know what those are those are practically fridges that weigh practically a ton like not even kidding you have to have about six men lift it and carry it in and even then it's super difficult it takes really strong people to be able to lift something that's that heavy the entire time guess who wasn't doing anything george didn't do a single thing the entire time he's not doing anything i understand he's an old guy who can't do too much but he practically is useless he doesn't do anything and you know what he does when we do all this hefty work and we're the ones who put the fridges in the house and doing all that stuff he's there flirting or or chatting with the people who ordered the appliances and you know what he does after he flirts and he does all that stuff with the people and the consumer he pockets every single tip every single tip i have seen him pocket several trips uh, several trips several times has he pocketed the tips that was given to us by the consumers and he did no work at all. He, I've seen it a total of three times, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day if it's just three times because I know this guy does it all the time and he doesn't give his tips to anyone else. He didn't give tips to anyone else and I even asked other people, hey, do you get the tips? And he said, no, I even asked a, another worker and he says, yeah, he just keeps it for himself. The guy was completely greedy and completely disrespectful. It got to the point where me and him would argue so much that on my final day, which would be my final day, was when I got called into the office because he tried reporting me to the main guy who hired me and said James is not doing anything he's being lazy and the, and the guy was like well, why am I hearing from Dexter you're being lazy blah this and I just went out I said lies 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 that is not what happened this guy literally said he's not wanted me to work here for the last week he literally has been spreading rumors about me around the warehouse and he hasn't even been efficiently training me and he's been changing his mind every three seconds I I, I just laid it flat in front of him like 
I, I just laid it in front of the whole entire place. I said, this is what he's been doing. It's highly unprofessional. That's why everyone around me has quit. And you need to realize that. To this day, they still have issues hiring people. They literally are giving a $5,000 bonus for people who want to work my position. No one wants to work my position. No one ever would want to work that position because everyone who signs up quits and they don't want to continue it continue it because it's crap um and that's why i quit and standard tv and appliance will never be a place i will ever work again and i will never recommend it to anyone who has half of a brain what is your guys's worst work story i hope you guys enjoyed the new video i will see you guys next time and goodbye